All right, good morning. How about them fucking Browns? Woo, that's crazy. That is, that's just, that's got to be heartbreaking. You just go the whole fucking season and then you lose to the Browns. Uh. All right, so this is going to be a quick one. I'm in and out. I did not sleep last night. I did not sleep. You know, every once in a while, my brain's just like, nah, bro, fuck you. We're just going to sit here and keep you awake all night long. That's what happened. All right, the rig. You guys saw me making it yesterday. Obviously, you don't see it sitting here. We had an issue. Remember, I couldn't get the thing out. My little, my joint, I welded the joint together. And then I tried to get it this morning. I broke it. But we got a good, we got a good design. We do. We got it. Ah, oh, you fuck. We got a good design. We got a good design. And it, I like it. It works. Um, except for this. So I'm going to make the attempt to try to fix it. Um, there's all kinds of holes throughout this whole thing. This whole thing's full of holes. So maybe I won't. Maybe I won't try to fix it. Maybe I'll just learn from it. Um, I definitely dig it. Right? Uh, I'll show you the perk on it. It actually works. It's pretty cool. It just sucks, man. But, you know, you live and you learn. What are you going to do? So, there's definitely, like, many holes throughout this whole thing, right? But to fill it, right? Like, this thing leaks. It's funny. But, yeah, it's a chugger. Right? Yeah. Got holes everywhere, man. Wasn't as good as the first one. I think the first one I might have had I might have had the peoples with me. You know what I mean? Might have had might have had the uh the, 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 the ones looking out. Alright, but I did learn something in this. I learned something. And I learned what not to do. Okay. There's that. Found some Alexa, nobody's yeah. talking to you. You just randomly start talking. That's not weird. I don't know what is. All right, let's let's get this cookies and candy. Yeah. yeah, that's what you should do. Just shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. All right, here's there's the video today. Okay, that's it. That's it. There's nothing. So I don't I don't really have too much new stuff. I know everybody's like, dude, you've always had it. Well, I'm fucking broke. Hello. Finally started getting momentum. So basically, I got a spot to vent once a month now. I need it to be twice a month. I need to I need to find spots that I can go every time. So I'm going to start linking up with some of these some of these dudes and be like, yo, where are you guys at? Where are you going? Hit me up. Let me know because I want to make sales. But then, you know, some people are haters. Some people don't like me just because of whatever. That's cool. So today, that was the rig. All right, the rig was an, an epic fail, absolutely. On, but did we learn? So that's the thing. What did I learn? I learned that I like that style. I actually like. I'm looking at it. I like the twist. I've always liked a twist. I think I'll do that. I also like the top load. I'm a fan of that. I like it because it's it sits. It's always it's just there, right? So, um, sorry, people are texting me like now, now when my phone, it just, it just pops up, you know, it's just, it, I don't know why, like I need to fix that. I need to fix that on my phone. Sorry, random. All right, let's pop a gram. It's been a while since I popped a gram. Here's that, um, chem dog and lemon, lemon tie. Chem dog and lemon tie. All right, we'll do some dabs. Fuck around. My my dab on this cookies. This cookies and chem from Alara. Oh man, right? 
So my kiln adulted me yesterday that I need to put that fucker up on there. It's like a, the temperature is perfect to get things to butter up. So, all right. THCA on this is 21%. This is Liberty. Now, a lot of people don't fuck with Liberty or you don't get Liberty, right? Let's, let's do dab first. So, a lot of people either don't get Liberty or it's not available in your area. There's like, I've, I've heard all kinds of things. Before we get into that, though, let's do a dab. And then let's show you what we did make that was successful, right? Like, dude, this is turning to the craziest channel. Like, every day, it's something different, something weird. What are you doing? I don't know. We're just, we're evolving. All right, so, there it is. There's the scoop slash, right, tip, right? Could be a one-hitter, although I didn't put a push in there, which I'm going to probably do today, because I like, I actually like making these. They're, like, pretty cool. Um, they're not that hard to make, um... Just fucking just, well, for me, I don't think it is. Uh, you can make them with different dips, but like, look, this could be a scoop, right? You put your oil in there. This could be a, John, to make a, you could do one hitter with. Also, it could be, um, do I have a pre-roll laying around? I don't have any pre-rolls. I don't need cones or nothing. Fucking, you could probably, uh, uh, you know, as a glass tip. Right? So that's pretty cool. Right? I think it's called Rasta. I think it's just Rasta is the, the uh, scheme. And then I did the, um, the, my signature bubble cap with the dab tool on the end. Okay, so you have a matching set. I was going to do some, um, marbles, but nah, this stuff, this stuff boils out so quick. I, I really, I could. I don't know, I can't. It's just, I have patience. I gotta learn more patience. All right, now I finally did a good implosion. I mean, like a, like a legit, like, like a real magnet, honest to God, solid, dope. Boom! Rasta implosion. And it's, Definitely got crazy colors. Ooh. Dude. Rasta implosion. So this might be my signature. This style, because I really like making this. I definitely dig how I did it. And it definitely looks like a flower. Like, man, the thing is in there. All right, and it's doubled up. <clears throat> So you can actually see the first one that I made on the side. You can dig it. Like you can take a look and be like, oh shit, dude. Oh shit, dude. Yeah, but that's tough. So you can get this whole set right here. So that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start doing pendies, dab tools, caps, right? Just because I love them. <clears throat> um, and I like making them. So that's always fun for me. And I like making pendies. And I'm going to continue to make rigs. So... Let's bust this dab real quick. A little rosin action. Cheers. Nice. <laughs> I had a little bit of, <coughs> a little bit of, a little bit of leftover VHO from an earlier, so it's got a funky taste. But that cookies, yeah, it's in there. That is legit. That's in there. Um, fuck it. <clears throat> yeah, I better grab. I need to grab back the turf wipes. <coughs> All right, so 
Got a lot of things going on. I hope everybody's doing good. Um, I'm gonna keep keep these. Uh, I'm gonna continue to do these reviews. Um, review products. Yeah, I'm doing a giveaway on the uh, on that pendant that we were gonna give away over here. I figured, you know what? Let's just let everybody do it. Um, they blocked me on Facebook, so I don't have. <clears throat> I'm, I got a 30 day account ban on both my accounts for posting the exact same thing because I post on everything. So, yeah, no, there's that. Um, what else? Fucking, yeah, that's it, really. Not, not too much else to talk about. <coughs> Don't forget to uh, check me out. Huge. <coughs> the, um, the weekend of 420. All right, 420 is on Tuesday. This is Saturday and Sunday prior to. All right, we're having everything. This is the year we're going nuts. This is the year we're going nuts. I'm going big, real big. Um, and I'm actually looking for somebody that wants to print for me, that wants to print my designs. Um, and I know I could just make them and get somebody else to, no, 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 no. So I think I might actually talk to somebody. Because I, I tried to, I reached out to my homie, shout out to Brian, and he was like, dude, I'm fucking slammed, I'm busy, I'm swamped. I was like, all right. You know, it's funny. <clears throat> um, sometimes, like, your last conversation was like, man, I need some work. I need, all right. And then I, I try to go and, you know, I'm, I'm thinking like, oh, fuck, I need to get this done. And I'm, I'm too busy. I, you know, I went from doing apparel at first and then at the, the glass and now I'm hemp. And we're slowly marching towards that cannabis. We're slowly marching towards having our own cannabis company. There's also, you know, Brian also reached out to me and asked um, about um, getting some hemp. Sounds dope. So, no, I'm glad. Like, that's the thing. I don't want anybody to think I'm, like, talking shit because I'm not. I'm glad. My man's super busy. That's fucking dope. Like... He came over one day and we were talking, we were playing guitar and then we t conversation got into like apparel and pressing and he was picking my brain and I kind of, I dig it. I was like, yeah, man, I'll show you. So I fucking showed him around and now my man's got contracts and he's super busy. So now I got to find somebody else, which I'm glad. So we're both like, we're both to that point where like, well, for me, it's not, I'm, there's no such thing as busy for me. I, that's all I do is work. I don't go out, I don't hang out, I don't play, I don't have fun. Like, I love to work, create, right? Produce, make things. I'm just, it's all I wanna do. Um, to me, that's more fun than anything else. Like, making a video is more fun than <clears throat> going out to the bar, let's say, or going out, whatever. I like to make things. I'm a maker of things, right? It's obvious I enjoy things. Um, so, so yeah, man, I, uh, fuck, I had so much shit, I got so much shit, I guess I just gotta just hammer down and do it, you know, it's one of those things where, like, it's not so much that I don't have the time, because I could, I could do that on my day off, I could do that on Wednesdays, I could just start now, start printing and pressing, printing and pressing, and then by the time, you know, whatever, I'll just have them all made up. So, I'm looking at it. I just got to figure it out. If it's going to be, if it's going to cost me more money to go somewhere else, I dig it. I just got to look at the cost. Because I know what it costs me a shirt, you know. But that's just funny. I just want to bring out to everybody's attention. It's super cool. Like, you never know how life can get. You never know where shit can go. But anyway, all right. <clears throat> Love you, Bri. Keep on fucking keeping on. Yeah, my man has a 3D printer, right? Which, obviously, like, everybody got stimulus checks, right? I don't have any children that I get money from, so I only got 600 I know people that got, like, fucking, you know, what the fuck, 4800 like, but there's crazy amounts. And that's good. Good for you and good for your family. With that said, I see, I'm seeing things people are getting. Like, I'm seeing people using their money for good things, and I'm seeing people using their money for fucked up shit. That in the long run, they're just going to probably cry about. But with that said, so I don't know if it's from the stimulus. If I had to guess, 
probably, because that shit ain't cheap. Um, but my man's doing 3D printing, and yo, I think he always talked about it, and I think that's where I think he found his niche. Like that's his thing, because like he made like a clip, a roach clip, then he made a fucking John to fill um <laughs> to fill single cones. I'm like that's pretty fucking cool, man. Then he's got like a John you can put your carts in, it holds. So like check him out, he's very cool. Uh, he's over there at Keystone Apparel, <clears throat> um, which. It's, it's funny, because like I said, I started an apparel company, and I was like, all right, now everybody's doing apparel, I'm going to move away, I'm going to do a head shop, and now I'm seeing, like, everybody's doing head shops, I'm like, all right, what, what, so I guess I'm a trendsetter, and I've always been one, it is what it is, like, I don't, um, I like to inspire, because that's what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to be a human being, you want to inspire people, you want to help lift people up, you want people to do that, the, Dude, the biggest form of flattery is fucking, what is it? it? Copying somebody impersonation, right? So, love you, Bri. I'm glad all your success. And anybody else? Yo, um, also, somebody was reaching out. Somebody asked me about blowing glass, and I forgot to tell you. The kiln. The kiln is the most important thing. Kiln is super expensive. Costs crazy money. Um, so, <clears throat> I guess I'll just go to my, uh, I'll go to my brother-in-law's dad. So, he, he prints. So I'm just going to ask him, like, look, bro, here's my logo. Here's my thing. What are you going to charge me? Because I already have all this. So it's like a unique situation where, like, you know, the average person who prints is going to be like, nah, dude, like, I have all this stuff. I up charge. No, I just want you to print and press. Right? Print and press. I already have the shirts. So that's where I'm at. But, you know, it's going to happen. I'll probably end up doing it myself. But I wanted to do vinyl this time. I wanted to do vinyl on some of the things, especially like the Dab Time logo. Um, just I just wanted it just because, you know. So that's where I'm at with that. So keep your eyes open. We're gonna start. Um, I, I, probably by February, I'll have um, a, a whole new. I'll have everything will be in vinyl moving forward. I'm pretty sure. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna outsource just because that's where I'm at now. Like, hmm, make shirts, sure blow glass. I'm gonna blow glass. That's just what that's what I want to do. I'm not saying that making shirts sure ain't dope and doing design ain't dope. It's just not what I want to do. So it's not a cut at anybody. But um, all right, let's pop this flower. So here we go. Right. All right. Now all their flower has a very similar nose. It's like a off the pop, off the rip. And I wonder if that ain't like, maybe their facility has like the same smell. This is nice looking. Let's see what we got. I mean, let me read, let me read some terps. THCA is 21%. A lot of people call that mids. Meh. Maybe. I mean, when you got, when you got some of the stuff, that's like the highest ends, like 40 something percent. And you know, who knows what lowest is, but like, you know, 20 is mids these days. 20 is mids. <clears throat> you know why? Because if you look at the spectrum and if 40 is your tap, what would the middle be? I'm going to say it again so everybody understands how mids works. Because it's the middle. <sighs> Mid-grade. Medium. <laughs> All right. So this was, uh, I got this back in November 20. This is, well, this is package November. And I, I think I got this before Thanksgiving. Um, so let's look at the Terps. Beta Merce, 0.638. Beta Car, 0.2. What else we got in here? Limonene, 0.3. Um, yeah, good stuff. Let's get a little skizzle action. Check out the whizzles. All right. We got a little bit of we got a little bit of um, finger hash left over, and we still have one gram, so that's pretty dope. Now I'm gonna show this to you guys, and girls, and undecided. But oh, man, do we need a little flash action? My fucking screen is disgusting. It looks like my dog was like licking my screen. What a freak she is. So yeah, there you go. You see him? Try come heads. Liberty, I gotta be honest with you. Whoever, whoever's growing over there for them, they know what they're doing. 
they know what they're doing. I mean, that's. Let me let me let me let me squish this. Get some. Not recommended, but you should. So you take it and you grind it up in your fingers, and that like, the heat will evaporate some of the turps and warm it up. It smells like something. I'm trying to remember what it is to tell you exactly so you can be like, oh shit, okay. Um, it's some like creamy shit. Anywho. Alright. So, their, their flower's good. Now. I had, I, I may or may not have had, I was having a talk with Scott. Shout out to Scott. Look, man, I use first names, dude. I use names just because I, whatever, it. If, if there's something that, some words that come out of my mouth that ever offend you, I don't mean to, it's never a personal thing. But if I talk about you, then it, obviously I'm talking about you personally. So shout out to Scott, all right? My man Scott reached out, we were talking, we are talking about, um, you know, like, podcasts and shit like that, and <clears throat> I've always wanted to do one, just because, like, I have, I know what I think is interesting in myself. And I would like to talk to people with those same interests and pick their brains and get different perspectives. That's all I would like. That's just get high as fuck. We're just going to get really high and we're going to have a topic and then go. And I will purposely pick people that I know have way crazy opposite topics than I then like or like, you know, like whatever. This is just an example. I don't even know what it means. I don't I don't know what it means, but like they're this way, like, they're right, or I'm left, or I'm left, and they're right, like, I don't know what that means, I, I, be, admittedly, I have no fucking clue, um, I don't, I, I, I think it's something to do with, like, Democrats and Republicans, I don't know, like, I don't, liberal, I don't, like, I don't know any of those things, I don't give a fuck to know, never did, probably should pay attention, but then again, what for, it doesn't matter to me, um, so I'd love to do that, but we were talking, and he was talking about Joey, and Joey Diaz, now, I relate more to Joey Diaz than probably any other, I don't know, famous human currently. If, like, if, you know, that we would um, never, I don't know, like, too much this. I haven't really, like, re talked, like, I, I don't really do, like, the watching. Um, but I, like, I know from, like, listening to, like, um, I, not Joey, but from, like, listening to, like, Rogan fucking... Joey Diaz, we talk about, like, you know, he was tripping his balls, found his mom dead, da, 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 da. like, a lot of these things. Now, my mom's still alive, but, like, my dad, you know, he wasn't around, and the cocaine, and the hustling, and the jail, and the fucking cocaine tooth, and the edibles, and, like, people don't get it, man, but that shit really helps. Um, so, shout out to Scott. It was awesome. And anybody else, listen, we, yo, like, you can reach out and talk to me. I'm not a fucking douche. I just might not get right to you right away, but you can, if you have questions or comments, concerns, issues, like, hey, man, I'm going through it. Yeah, reach out, dude. I'm a certified peer support specialist. Like, you know, there's a lot about me that you don't know. You only see this. You don't know, you know, let's, you just don't know. And there's so much, like, there's so, I, somebody told me to tell my life story one time, and I was like, dude, we don't even have enough time. They're like, yeah, but we should. So, like, when, when I was in recovery in prison, like, telling your life story was a big thing. You know, you tell your story, you tell your journey, da 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 So there was a lot of that, and um, I, you know, I did. And basically, my whole situation was this. Like, I had a pretty good, you know, my dad was gone. He died when I was young. I had a really good upbringing. My mom tried her best. Like, she sucked at, definitely sucked when it comes to raising with me and all that and, and things, but I don't blame my mom. Like she was just trying her fucking hardest as a single mom after her life partner for like the only dude she ever knew and just up and, you know, dies on her it's fucked up. So that basically set the stage to a fucked up life for me. <clears throat> and I don't think I ever dealt with it properly. And it wasn't maybe, you know, Hey man, it was 85. <laughs> uh, We've learned a lot since then, you know what I mean? Like, psychology and all this and, you know, everything. But the one thing I will say about my mom, she's always instilled on me, right? 
was like, look, speak, 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 tell, don't hold your tongue. Don't be a dickhead, but don't hold your tongue. And I've always done that. I've always been um, 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 very vocal and outwardly spoken, especially when I see something wrong. Um, and we, I kind of get a lot of my holistic um, shit from my mom. My mom's like, I don't know. I wouldn't call her a hippie or a She's just, my mom just does what the fuck she wants. Like, it's my mom. She's kind of like, whatever, fuck you. Um, even with her husband now. Like, not saying like she's like a scumbag, but she's just like, my mom's the alpha. <laughs> so, shout out to my mom. Love you. But uh, I wasn't good for a while. You know, she married this dude, and he was a fucking shit. He was a shithead beater of people's alcoholics and drinkings and brandings. And uh, fuck, fuck me up. My, fuck my head up. Um, fuck me up a lot. So I had to deal with that. And, like, I didn't really deal with that shit at all. Like, you know, my dad's death, and then my mom gets this dude. And then, like, oh, sure, we're calling you dad now, and he sucks you know, beating us and shit and just, like, being a piece of shit. But that's, like, I'm not going to talk on him. I don't want to, because he's not that way anymore, you know. You change. People can change. But then, yeah, he sucked. Fucking sucked. But whatever. So, and I, you know, that shit starts compounding, all this compounds. So here you go. I'm in high school, you know, fucking boom. My mom gets divorced and then gets married again. She gets divorced from the dude who beat her up, and then she gets married again. Some other dude does, like, emotional mental abuse, like, fucking whatever, I was out of there, 16, I moved the fuck out, and I was like, dude, I'm, I'm fucking, my mom, like, kind of gave me the choice, because when I turned 16, I started getting my dad's, uh, check from Social Security, his, his death benefits, I think they're called, uh, it's like 600 bucks, my mom was like, you can give me that for rent, and I was like, okay, so I can do whatever the fuck I want, and she was like, no, nah. I'm like, all right, well, I'll just give this money to somebody else, like a landlord, and I kind of told my mom to suck it and rolled out. Um, yeah, so there I was, man. I was fucking 11th grade of high school. Uh, I might have been just turned 17. These are 16 or 17. I think it might, might have been 17. Yeah, I just started my 11th grade. So 11th grade year, I'm fucking, I'm living in Delaware, commuting every day, every morning, half hour to go to school, high school. I fucking drove every morning. I get up at 5 o'clock. This is why I get up every day at 5 o'clock. I mean, get up at 5 o'clock since fucking I was 17. So I get up at 5 o'clock, get my ass up by myself, nobody else to motivate me. And the only reason I did is because I promised my grandmother I'd graduate college because I love my grandmother. So I fucking graduate college, or grad, not college, high school, fuck college. Graduate high school, barely, um, and I joined the Marine Corps. And there you go. So that's the first first part of my life in a nutshell. Mm. Up until up until this point, I had basic drug use for a '90s kid, right? Um, you know, I tripped, done all the psychedelics, you know, done shrooms, done acid. Um, uh, 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 ecstasy was just coming on the scene, and like everybody's like, "You put all in your brains." And uh, meanwhile, we're like, "Fuck you, no, it doesn't." Like we're just partying our brains off, super thirsty all the time, uh, I'm sweaty as balls, having fun. Um, didn't do coke yet, um, but like really, and I realized, that's when I realized I was allergic to mushrooms, um, though psychedelics, because I already knew I was allergic to regular mushrooms, like edible ones, you know, fucking, um, break out in hives and shit, so like, I started like taking Benadryl and eating mushrooms, it was like, yeah, I'm a crazy person, like, oh look, I won't break out in hives if I just take the, the histamine blocker, like, now nah, jerk off, like, whatever, so, um, and then I went in the service, and... You were, it was like encouraged to drink. Now, I drank in high school. My family's, I come from a long line of alcoholics. Long line of alcoholics. I come from a long fucking line of alcoholics. So, those motherfuckers and bikers, all right? Now, not bikers in a traditional sense, but just my family hung out with people who may or may not have done meth. <laughs> Lots of it. Lots of methamphetamines. Certain individuals, right? So, shout out to meth. <laughs> no. um, so, I was always around drugs. I just never did them. Um, didn't. Like, just because, you know. But but drinking, I was, I was with it. And smoking pot, for sure. Check out this dab scoop. So, I, um... 
<clears throat> I'm in high school. I'm like, fuck this. I'm going to Marine Corps. Um, I had a 4.0 GPA uh, up until 11th grade year. And yeah, I was on an honor roll every year. Every year up until 11th grade year. From like the beginning of school till 11th grade, I was on an honor roll. Um, <clears throat> because like I didn't miss school. I liked it. I like to learn. Whatever. So I go in the Marine Corps, probably, probably more than anything, just to get the fuck away from everything. It's like, man, I had so much anger built up in me. Again, you know, death of my father, never dealt with it. Never went to counseling, never had anybody talk to. You know, like, you know, that old cliche, like father Sundays. Yeah, I don't have that, you know, all that bullshit. Whatever. That shit that shit's legit though. She'll fuck you up if you don't if you don't address it. Then I went to Marine Corps and they're like, dude, you're allowed to be a complete savage. So like I just was a savage in the Marine Corps. I picked up sergeant in under four years. Anybody knows anything about the service. Yeah. I'm a Marine. I've always been a Marine. Because I was raised as one. Not by Marines, but I was raised to be a savage, and part of being a Marine is being a savage. Most most Marines won't tell you that, but I will. I don't give a fuck. I'll tell you the truth. You're fucking trained to murder, kill, do all that. Like you're you're a trained savage. Because there's not there's not any place like that in the civilian world. So I didn't really I didn't do anything. All I did was drink in the service. I did coke like once. Just like fucking around, like, cause like, I was like, all right, fucking everybody's doing powder. Let me do a little bump. And I was like, nah, I'm cool, man. I'm already super hyper, <clears throat> but I did like it, but I knew I'd like it. So I was like, nah, I'm cool. So I just drank a lot in the service and, you know, thrived in the Marine Corps. <clears throat> then I got hurt. Now, I don't know the direct, the direct, <clears throat> the injury happened from, I, I'm pretty sure I can pinpoint to one exact thing. I'm carrying two hydrox cylinders, one on each shoulder down, a, down the, uh, the maintenance bay, and my back went, and I just kept walking. And then I got to the place, dropped them down, and then I fell. All right, 620, cheers. That worked well. <laughs> so, you know, the Marine Corps, combination, all that bullshit. Yep. So, kept going, kept going, kept going, one day running, and then boom, I'm paralyzed. There was a point where I'm, I couldn't, like I would run and my, my whole legs would go numb and shit. It was fucked up, it was weird, it freaked me out, I was scared. I got diagnosed with bilateral compartment syndrome, service connected. Um, no, sorry, that was not service connected. So they scumbagged me. Here's where the here's where the whole thing happens right here. When I was getting out of the service, which I did not want to do, I was on my second list. And this is it right here. When I was going to sign my DD two fourteen, they filled it fucking out incorrectly. They just have me down as an honorable discharge. Physical condition, not a medical. Excuse me, I got medically discharged. That's what I was told I was getting. And that's the only reason I signed, that I, I went with this. Well, do you think that in a distraught at the age I was of 23, young, still brain, not fully developed. Everything I worked up to in that point in my life, those past four years, because it was 12 days after my four, my four year. Came crashing down. I did not read it. They're just like, sign here, sign here, sign here. 
Here's your separation check. You did did whatever. Get the year out. And then I went and smoked a fuck ton of pot the day I got out. <clears throat> the day I got out, I smoked all my money in weed, and I got so high I puked. I don't really remember that day. <laughs> um, but that fucked me. So basically, from that fucking moment, because I was told, "Hey man, we're gonna take care of you forever." Well, not us, but the VA is. You're getting a medical discharge, just go there. They're going to give you 100%. It's like 2500 bucks a month. I'm like, yeah, I could swing that, dude. And they're like, you know, you can hustle. And I'm like, nah, 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 I'm cool. I'll be all right. <clears throat> you know, I was just going to just do my thing, help people out, whatever. You know, make some side cash, do some bullshit like mowing grass or something. I don't know. I didn't really have a plan. I just was like, yeah, that'll work. I'll go home. I'll fucking figure it out. You know, start fresh. <clears throat> Fuck it. You know, maybe I'll just fucking hang out with my kid. Like, I didn't really have direction but I had that and then when I went to the VA they were like nah dude like and then when I went to the VA they were like no here we're gonna fuck you even more we didn't you got misdiagnosed you don't have that you got a fucked up hip <coughs> you have a hip that's fucked up so you don't have compartment syndrome like wait what how could you misdiagnose how do you get a bad hip from compartment syndrome look it up just completely not, I mean, I guess they could maybe be the same, but not, mm, mm, mm. so there's that, and then from there, it just was like, fuck it, um, you know, and I started doing more drugs, started doing more shit, started drinking, and just fucking, it just, you know, then my grandfather died, and that was it, that pushed me over the edge, but I mean, I, I, I could tell you, that's just like the life story. And then I went to prison. Uh, I got strung out. Uh, I was on painkillers for a long time. And then fucking, I knew what the fuck it was. Like, I can sit here and lie to you like, oh, I didn't know. Yeah, I knew. I'm not a fucking asshole. Um, you know, I get it. Some people have never been around drugs. Well, I grew up around them, so <clears throat> I knew what it was. If you take anything long enough, it'll change you. I just knew that. I didn't, I didn't need to know that it was addictive. I just knew that just from seeing it, if you take anything long enough, it'll change you. Could be good, could be bad. We don't know. So, and this ended up being bad. Well, you know, that led to, uh, I got a fucking shape. That led to me going to prison, robbing two people at gunpoint for 11 bucks, just fucking savagery. <clears throat> seven years in state prison. Seven years I had to sit and think. And I thought about a lot of things. And, and the one thing I thought when I came home was, man, I'm not going to do what I did before. And that was just grind and grind and grind for somebody else. I don't know how. I don't know when. But I'm going to own my own business and work for myself. And I just hope it'll work. So I read books and stuff. And I'll be honest, man, all that shit, it doesn't. Yeah, you can read all the books you want, but nothing prepares you for real life like that just but just doing it so here we are <clears throat> here's it you know um august it'll be four years i've been out of jail this year it'll be 11 years sober um 12 years off of alcohol <clears throat> fuck yeah <clears throat> i can honestly fucking say that i can tell you right now sitting here i don't have cravings I don't think about drugs. I don't do any of that. And the reason I really believe it, this all ties back in the Joey Diaz, by the way. The reason is because of the psychedelics. And what are you talking about? Edibles. Edibles. Edibles, edibles, edibles. You can hear it in my voice. All day long. <clears throat> all day long. Um, edibles. Yeah. Psychedelics, man. But all the time. And you know what? Like, I really haven't thought about killing myself in a long time. And I used to, that's all I used to think about. Seriously. Um, do I still have days of pain? Yes. Now, after watching Joe Rogan's last podcast, or a couple podcasts, listening to it rather, the uh, the doctor that was on there was talking about how, like, you know, we cure... This all like the one thing that was resonated with me was when he said the MS, you know, and it was diet. And he was like, dude, 
multiple sclerosis is an inflammation disease and it's caused by the diet. A lot of it is. I was like, wait, what? <clears throat> so they go into all these things and they start talking about all these things and da da da. I'm like, wow. So, you know, I personally deal with that. Not me personally, but I know somebody that's here in our house that has MS. And I'm like, you know, I don't. <clears throat> so, you know, I bring this attention. I'm like, hey, you check this out, man. Like, because there's some stuff, right? Here's the thing. And this is it. This is this is where some people just, it sucks. You're like, ah, fuck, that sucks. You're still like that? Yo, when some motherfuckers are just stuck in their old ass ways, you just fucking, you're just married to your bullshit. You're stuck to it. Nah, I'm not gonna, like, something as simple as changing your diet, right? Could fucking change your whole life. Nope. Or something as simple as fucking eating an edible. It's like, you tell fucking people, listen, this is... But they just won't do it. So then you got to sit there and, you know, listen to them or watch them suffer and shit. You know, so it's 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 awesome that I'm saying that to say that I'm glad that science is so fast and so advanced. And also that we have the connections of social media to where that information is was discovered like, you know, very relative, like very recently. And. It's insane that that, you know, usually would be like a five year trickle down effect. Oh, my God, we can cure multiple sclerosis if you change your fucking diet. Wait, what? Yes. And it's like, holy shit. But that shit usually a one thing, two things happen. You know how much money there is in fucking in just we'll just use that example in MS medication. I don't know, but I'm sure it's a fuck ton and CBD. THC and diet seems like anti-inflammatory, right? So all these things. So what happens is these companies come in. They're like, dude, fuck you. Fuck you and your cure. We under, we already knew that, asshole. Yeah, we know it's because of this. Or, or the food companies, fuck you with their genetically modified bullshit and all their fucking, you know, yeah, all that shit. That's what it is. It's bad. Also, isn't it funny how everybody talks shit about Russia, right? Oh, no, not Russia. Uh, but they banned, they're not allowed to have genetically modified foods in their country. or something. I think it's something like that. I don't know how true it is. I read it, you know. Man, I got an itch. So, yeah, because it fucks you up, right? I'm done. I, I'm personally, I'm done. I'm also done eating um, bullshit and carbs, and I'm just basically going to eat vegetables and meat. That's just like we're supposed to. The grains, nah, nah, it's not really vegetables, fruits, and meats, and that's it. Um, now, <clears throat> the point I'm getting it into is, is this. Look at Joey Diaz, look at, look at uh, Joe Rogan, look at this. All these, they, they have people on that have information. So, tying back into what I said is, I would like to have that, but in my own little realm, but for cannabis. So, like, Rogan will have everybody on there. And, like I said, I really like listening because, yo, fr in, in way, way long, forever ago, <clears throat> Rogan was talking about, um, in last January, was talking about vitamin D and um, all that. So, I started fuck around like looking into it and yeah it checks out then I start looking into the immune system everything it's like holy shit fucking zinc but then there's like I can't say the word it begins with a Q but there's uh there's there's a, a drug you can uh, um uh, a vitamin you can take and it helps get the zinc inside listen to this helps get the zinc inside the cell okay you know I could just be like I said I'm trying to re remember what dude's saying as I'm talking to you but like basically if you take zinc every day to supplement cool you get zinc in your system. Maybe some of the stuff gets in your system. Like, there's like, there's like a chemical that helps carry the zinc into the cell. And what zinc does is it basically fucking nah. It won't let the won't let the virus bind to your cell. It's like a protectant. It's fucking insane. I'm like, holy shit. You don't you you won't get COVID. Like, what? So inflammation fucks shit up. It has something to do with that. And then there's this other thing, right? So, if you, and now how many of us, right, like, and it, 
Dude, there's like a lot of shit that's like caused from inflammation. Like Alzheimer's, motherfucking dementia, motherfucking, you know, all these things. Everything. Like, all, think about it. When you're inflamed, it sucks. It hurts. I mean, I'm, I wake up, I'm swollen. I'm all, eh. So, change your diet, right? Change how you live. Change how you do. Watch. But this is all new science. So, to tie it all together. <clears throat> um, yeah, that, that, that's... You know, I I absolutely do what I do because I want people like I am a fucking science project, motherfuckers. I fucking I dude, and I know some of you have watched from day one, so if you've seen it, you know. That's why some of you have watched and be like, yeah, this mother yeah, eat at I'm eating edibles. Fuck that. Like, all right, now look, now I'm on this journey. We're going that's why it's only I only got a half. And I want to, I'm making it, you know, I'm, um, I, I did yesterday. My back did not hurt with that. I also didn't, it's just that I didn't do any CBD. I didn't do any CBG. I just did Delta eight and I wanted to see, and plus, you know, I did my dabs and all that, um, normally, but I'm saying for my edibles. Now, did I have the crazy head buzz? That I usually do with 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 um, Delta Nine negative. I will tell you right now, Delta Eight does not get you as high in your head as Delta Nine, but it bodies you just like Delta Nine does, right? I would even dare to say more in a better way. So I'm going down that journey and all that stuff. But um, yeah. Shout out to Scott. Now watch this. Speaking of my back, check it out. Listen. Right? I don't know if you heard that, but... Right. Oh, man. And it's awesome. So, I'm going to get back on the torch. I'm actually going to um, upload this video and go live here shortly. Alexa, what time is it? It's 11.55 a.m. Yep. <clears throat> Yeah, I got to turn the kiln on and then get everything hooked up and we're going to go. Let's, I try to I try to get on the torch. Depends on what it is, but um, I try to do four hours a day. So I, I, I literally have I've broken down my schedule into this. Now, four hours, I got it to four hours a day. So as long as I get on by 12, right? So that's where I'm at. <clears throat> Some days are better than others. Some days I got a different shit, but that's what I'm trying to do. I really want to get the trying to get the four hours a day in there. Um, if I could get eight hours a day, it would be dope. Um, so, you know, we'll see. Because I think something might have just happened to where I kind of can just fall back and, you know, um, rock out and not worry about the other part of my business. Let, let some other people handle some things for me. Um, and while I go ahead and just, just really like, let's get crazy with this, with this, um, <clears throat> with this. Cause like, you know, a long, oh man, my homie just said my bad. I'm like, yeah, bro. So funny. I'll tell you a funny story. This morning I get an email from Amazon at like 11 o'clock. You have, thank you for purchasing Twilight on your account with MasterCard ending. I'm like, wait, what the fuck out of here? I don't know, dude. We have that on Blu-ray and I don't even watch. Like, that's what, I'll watch it, but I, I don't watch TV. I'm not sitting around at fucking 10 a.m. Like, oh, let me, let me, let me turn Twilight on. I ain't got shit to do today. You know, I get it. A lot of you who watch this are fucking haters and like, well, you're just making videos, bro. And for you, I say slop on the knob like corn on the cob <laughs> um you know but yeah like what so i'm like fuck man and that's literally why i was instead of now i've been doing my day has been pushed back because i didn't sleep well last night i was thinking about this rig and i knew it was fucked up so that kept me up, which, cause I'm a psycho. So I kind of like, eh, I would like sleep for like an hour, wake up, ah, sleep for an hour, wake up, ah, cool. And then I'm going, I'm just, I'm coming downstairs, literally coming downstairs. I'm like, all right, let me check my emails. I always do that, which fuck, I hate, I hate emails. 
oh, nah, but I get it, you know, like, I'm like, whatever. So I'm checking in, I'm like, ah, fuck, I gotta get that, I got that, I got a, a phone thing tomorrow, <clears throat> it's due with the dude, he's gonna try to sell me on labels, I'm like, nah, bro, I make my own labels. But I went to Calix Jars, I got that tomorrow at like two or something, so I gotta reschedule. So I'm like, wait a second, dude, hold on, thank you for your purchase, I'm like, bro, and it's funny, because I've been getting a text message like, oh, no. Oh, no, it looks like you've, your identity's been stolen. It's like, who texts like that? Like, nobody would, no reputable company would be like, oh, no, it's fucking, oh, my God, I know, oh, no. Like, that, no, that's not real life. Fuck off. So, so I'm on the phone with Amazon, and <clears throat> nothing for nothing. Like, and I get it. You got to hire where you got to hire from. I was talking to somebody that sounded like they are from India. I could not, or maybe Pakistan. No, it was India. I could not absolutely understand what he was saying at all. I really did. And I said, I understand you have a mask on, which makes it even worse. But, like, the, the, his accent was so heavy. I was just like, fuck. I'm like, he was, like, saying, do you have a, anything? I'm like, look, dude, I'll make this easy for you. The only thing I have active is my phone. And I told him, I said, Samsung Galaxy S10, Samsung Galaxy S20. He's like, okay, I see that. I'm like, that's it. Every other device, remove. He was like, yeah. I told him, I was like, I sold my, well, I didn't sell it to him. I just gave it to him. I gave my homie a TV and this motherfucker's in there like watching movies and shit. Like, what else are you doing, bro? Fuck. <clears throat> so, yeah, there's that. All right, everybody, I got to go. Get, get, to, uh, get to making some pennies today. I'm going to do some more of this. I like making sets. Um, I like making matching things. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and I will get back on the rig. Uh, but today, I only have a little bit of oxygen and a little bit of propane left. I got to re-up, which I'm doing tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be like um, basically a driving around doing a bunch of bullshit day. <clears throat> um, so yeah. I also called Career Link. I called the VA. I got to redo my card. The VA is taking forever with my medical records. Now I got to fill out this fucking form. It's like, dude, what? Technology is not so helpful. I'll tell you what, real quick. Last year, I picked up the phone two years ago, whatever, four years, whatever it was. Three years ago. Fuck, three years ago. Four years ago. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, the VA? Yeah, can you guys send me my medical record so I can get my fucking card? Yeah, no worries, sir. Two days later, it's in my mailbox. This fucking thick-ass thing. It's just official. Blah, blah, blah. All right. <clears throat> Fast forward. I called. No, I was on the phone for four fucking hours on hold. From here to Missouri, to back here to Washington, to fuck, ah, back to Coatesville. And what they tell me, they're like, oh, yeah, you got to fill out this form. Or you can, I'm like, look, dude, I see my record, so now I don't have it, so then I had to go through the other thing, and like, dude, if I don't get my card renewed, I am going to jail, <laughs> like, because I will be illegal, because I will be just smoking pot, I won't be using medicine. Isn't that funny how that works? Just that little bit of money, that little, that little thing, the little box that's checked makes me um, literally free or not free. It's fucking crazy. Um, so that's why I was like, man, let me just, let me get in, let me get this Delta 8. Let me get, because if I have to, bro, I will fucking say, fuck that shit. Um, you know, it's just, but now, so now I found somebody like, nah, look, you can get your, we want to about the medical records. Like, I'm like, look, I got my DD-214, I got all this shit. They're like, yeah, just fucking do that. So shout out to Balanced Veterans, hooking me up. Um, <clears throat> I'm saying, I still gotta get my medical records, just the VA is, is not going to be in time. So I just, I don't really want to go to jail, man. You know, my PO's understandable, but it'd be like, bro, you got to get your system clean. Like, you know, you got 30 days. Like, I'm not doing any of that. Nope. No, because it shouldn't be fucking illegal. It's goddamn medicine. So you just need to fix your rules. You know, but yeah, I still got to operate it. I'm a tough guy, because if not, you'll go right to jail. Yeah, true. That's why you don't see me out here fucking. Yeah, look at all this fucking meds from fucking all these other places. Ah. Uh, Too many rats. So, you know, I just stay in my lane and fuck with Delta 8. Be lame. But it works. You can check it out. Be the same. Oh, peace. Be cool. Be kind. Be honest.